with that said, we're going to get into our topic today. We got a handsome, debonair, sharp young man. He was going to, he will be the youngest SVP in ACN. Think about this. He got started at the age of 20. Worked at uh, worked at uh, uh, um, Applebee's, you know, and he came here from Trinidad. And every time we see a plane over here, he says, you know what? I got to get to America. See, this is what I love about his hustle, his backbone and posture. He has what? Backbone and posture. Why? Whoa. See, I love people when they come from the country. They come here with America with just got to get it done, got to wrap it up, not just playing around with it, but wrapped it up. Uh, came here from Trinidad. Got here from Trinidad July, let's get this right, July 9th of 2002, came from Trinidad with a dream, hope, and desire, and landed in the ghetto of Baltimore, Maryland, and said, if it's going to be, it's up to me. I don't need nobody help with my hand. I'm a leader. Don't need to be motivated. I motivate myself. That's what leaders do. They don't need nobody to motivate them. At 28 years old, regional vice president platinum. Can we give a, a nice warm round to Mr. Shaquille Cooper? Can you hear me clearly? Yeah, I like I like those glasses, man. The Cartiers. Man, thank you, man. I had, had to get you know had to get let, nice from the car today. Let me get my Cartiers on too, sir. Hey, man, great minds think alike. So you know, I'm thank excited. you, man. I'm it excited. ain't for everybody. I'm excited to be back. Um, I was able to put together a training. Um, so you guys, this is not gonna be like a mindset type of training today. It's gonna be more on taking notes. I'm gonna teach you specifically, you know, how to get people in front of the information. I'm gonna walk you through all of the steps. So oh, hold on one second. But first, what I wanna do is I'm gonna share my screen and I just wanna show a quick video uh, just to show you guys a little bit of my journey real quick. I actually seen this video on my computer and I was like I figured I'd share it you know people hear about me being at Applebee's all the time so you know if you guys look it's like four seconds but if you look on the left side that's me in the kitchen working at Applebee's stressed out tired didn't feel like it so when I tell people I was really at Applebee's I was really there but what also inspired me was a few years later I'm in Malibu California under a million dollar home swinging by the ocean. Do you see how you can go from Baltimore City, a place where it's crazy, to now being in a place where you're literally hanging around next to the ocean on another side of the world? You know, so that right there shows me that it don't matter where you start, it's all about where you finish. And too many people, they focus on where they're at in life and they don't understand that it's not about where you're at, it's about where you're trying to go. So to go into the information today, so basically, it's, I have good news and I have bad news, right? So I'll start with the bad news. You're probably already gone out there and made a fool of yourself, you know, how you presented your opportunity, and that's okay. We all done that, but the best approach is to forgive yourself and let go. Be new. You know, if you mess it up in the past or you talk to someone and you told them too much or, you know, you just threw up on the person, forgive yourself. We all do that, right? You got to understand that getting someone to agree to look at the business and actually follow through, it's a skill. You know, network marketing, it's all about, it's a skill. And the more that you work on the skill, the better you become over time. So it's a skill that can be learned by each and every one of you. And it can be taught by every person in your business. And people need what we offer in network marketing. But we have to train, but people have been trained to resist the opportunity in every form, because think about it, right? They see things on social media, they hear people spam, or they heard about my great, great grandmother from 99 years ago, did network marketing, and didn't make any money or whatever crazy story, you know, that you hear from people, right? But what I'll tell you is that there's a proven eight steps and it's from something that I studied when I first got involved in the business and it's called GoPro. If you ever follow the guy, Eric Worry, this is from one of his um, training things that I have used throughout the years of doing this business. And, you know, it still talks about DVDs, you know, for people that still might have DVDs, CDs, but it's going to go over different types of way to get in contact with people. Some might not be relevant today because most people don't have DVD players or CD players anymore, but we're just going to still talk about it overall so that you get an understanding on how the industry have grown 
over the years. So for right now, if you focus on getting people to review the opportunity using a third party tool, and what I tell people all the time is that when you use a third party tool, it's always easier to do the business when you're using a third party. For example, let's say, right, you're a brand new person, you're excited about the business. So instead of you trying to talk to a whole lot of people about the business, what I would tell you is to just get great at talking about somebody else that's already successful that you're working with. So you got to think about it like this, right? If somebody tell you that, you know, a person, that regular person that's working for the NBA is coming to your home, or they tell you that LeBron James is coming to your home, which one would you be more excited about? The person that's working for the NBA or LeBron James? LeBron James, right? Because of the person. So just think about it like, if you had a big party, right? When people, you know, party promoters, what do they try to do? Instead of just saying, come to my party, they said, you know what? This person is gonna be there. And they're always edifying and talking about the person that's popular at the moment being at their club. And that's what makes people want to come out and actually party. It's not just because they have a great club, it's because they're talking about meeting somebody. So it's basically the same way how I look at our industry, right? So what I'm gonna teach you in this program is designed to be done over the phone or face-to-face. -face. It's not to be used with texting, email, or any sort of communication tool. And on the other, on, on phone and face-to-face. -face. So you only wanna do this when you're face-to-face -face with somebody or you're on the phone. Do not email, do not text. And the reason why, because you cannot express your emotions through a text message. Just think about it, right? You might be having a conversation, regular conversation with somebody during text, right? But what happened if by mistake, they start texting in capital letters? Now you're thinking they're yelling at you, right? But it could have been a mistake. So you don't want to come off any type of different way. So I always tell people, do not text. And the reason why you don't want to text is because it just doesn't make sense, right? So from there, the first step will be is to be in a hurry. Be in a hurry. Step number two is to compliment the prospect. Step number three, make the invitation. Step number four, if I would you. Step number five, get a time commitment. Step number six, get a time and a number. And step number eight, get off the phone. So what I'm gonna do right now, if you haven't took a picture, I'm gonna give you a few seconds to write down these steps. And I'm also going to break down all of those steps also. So I'm gonna give you guys maybe 30 seconds to write that down before we go into the information. I right, we gave you 10 more seconds. All right, let's go. So from there, step one, be in a hurry. And this is a psychological issue, but people are always more attracted to a person who's busy and has things going on. If you start every call or face-to-face -face conversation with the feeling that you're in a hurry, you'll find your invitations will be shorter and there will be less questions and people will respect you and your time much more. Let me read it again. If you start every call or face-to-face -face conversation with the feeling that you're in a hurry. So step number one, always be in a hurry. I don't care if you don't have nothing going on, always be in a hurry, always be busy, always be in a hurry when you're making these calls, right? From there, your invitations will be shorter so the goal is to be on the phone for a short period of time because the longer that you stay on the phone, the more questions that you will be asked. And the moment that you answer one question, you lost the person already because once they ask you one question and you answer it, they'll ask you another question. And before you know it, you're giving them a whole presentation. You're messing up the system. Like I told you guys all the time, it ain't about me, right? I'm not this special guru. I have a system. What I told you guys last week I was going to do this week, I promoted a regional director last night, another one. I got a guy that got started last month. He's halfway done a regional director. He'll be done in the next 30 days. Listen, we're, it's the system. It's not me. 
So what I'm telling you guys is what I've been passing down to my team for years and they're running it on their own. Do you know how great it feels to, to see RDs promoting your organization and you really didn't have no hands on anything to do with that? You just gave them the blueprint? Do you know how easier it is to just give your peoples the blueprint than having to do everything? I can't work with everybody. So I gotta have a system in place. So this is the system that I'm teaching you guys, right? So step one, be in a hurry for your warm market. This is what you'll say to them, right? I don't have a lot of time to talk, but it was really important that I reach you. I have a million things going on, but I'm glad I caught you. I'm running out the door, but I need to talk to you real quick. Those are for the people that you love and trust and you talk to all of the time. For people that's cold market, people that you probably met at a Starbucks or anything like that, for cold market, you can say, listen, now, is, now isn't the time to get into this. I have to go, but, or you can say, I have to run, but, and the reason why, because you want to be busy. You want to be busy. You got, listen, you got to set the tone with urgency, because if you're not busy, people will not take you serious. From there, step number two, compliment the prospects. People ask me all the time, how, how do you talk to people? People love compliments. Think about it like this. How do you feel when somebody complimented you and you know you didn't look your best, but they told you you look good anyway? How did you feel? So if you felt great, do the same thing with people. This is the cheat code right there, just giving people compliments. Listen, maybe you don't get a lot of compliments, start giving it out more because the more that you give out compliments, the more you will receive. And I know this for a fact because now when I'm in Houston, I'm running the streets, I'm, I'm going to Target and things like that. Every time I walk into the store, it's some older lady like, oh my God, you was handsome. It's like everywhere I go. And I give her a compliment too, like, thank you. You look great also. So I just use my charm. Because listen, if you're a likable person, people would do business with you. Just listen, look good, smell good. Take care of yourself. See, I'm not out there trying to convince people to work with me. I attract people to work with me. I want them to be like, man, whatever you got going on, I want to do it. So from that, compliment the prospects. This is crucial, the sincere compliment, and it must be sincere and open up to the person and just give them a compliment. Say, hey, listen, you've been wildly successful. I've always respected the way you've done business. You've been so supportive of me, and I appreciate that so much. You're one of the most connected people I know, and I've always admired that about you. You're the most important person in my life, and I really trust your instinct. You can use a couple of these. You don't have to use every one, but just think about it, right? What if you just master all of these compliments and just, when you talk to people, just hit them with one. Hit them with one, hit them with one, and switch it up. What if you talk to 10 people a day and just use one each? And what if you got lucky with at least two of those? Would it be worth it? Would that be worth it compared to going up to someone and saying, hey, you want to make some money? You want to make some money? You want to make some money? Make them like you first. You got to pull them in. And once you pull them in, and for example, let's say you meet someone that's a cold market prospects. You would say, listen, you've given us some of the best service I've ever seen, or you're a super sharp person. Can I ask what do you do for a living? Or you've made my, you know, you made my job or my life a, uh, fantastic experience, whatever the case may be. But the key is to compliment and it must be sincere. Find something that you can compliment, find something you can compliment the person on and just do it. Just get great at complimenting people because the moment you start doing that, you're gonna find that more people are gonna be open to your opportunity. But you gotta first be open. You just can't just meet someone and just say, hey, you wanna make some money? We do the, no, 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 slow down. It's a system and just think about it, right? Instead of you just becoming lucky and getting people to sign up here and there, why would you not wanna have a system that you can pass down and it can run without you? Because that's what I'm doing right now. Step number three, from there, make the invitation. In this situation, one size do not fit all. And I provided a list of direct approaches, which you will use when you're talking about the opportunity for them specifically. And then there's indirect approaches also that I will talk about, which will use um, when you ask to help someone for advance. And there's a super indirect approach also that you will ask people if they know others who might be interested. So there's different type of approaches. And most people, they use the direct approach for all of their 
prospects, right? And usually it goes something like, I found a way to get rich. Let me tell you about it, blah, blah, blah. By the show of hands, who heard that before? Or who've done that before? We all have done it, right? And because we're excited. We're excited. Just think about it, right? If you get an opportunity where there's a hope, listen, that's what I told my mom. When I got involved, I'm like, we're going to be rich. Even though I told her I was going to be rich when I was young, I'm like, listen, this is it. Because I'm like, this is a, all I got to do is deal with people. I dealt with people at Applebee's. It's over now because I understand that when you deal with who the type of people I dealt with at Applebee's, I'm talking about every Friday there's a fight at the bar. I'm talking about this WWE at the restaurant. So I'm breaking up, I'm dealing with, I'm in the hood, the only Applebee's in Baltimore City out of the whole entire city. And everyone is coming there. So I dealt with people. So I'm like, man, this is nothing. People came in and complained about food every other day just because they knew the manager was going to give it to them for free. And they did it religiously. So it's like, man, people, oh, it's, 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 a, it's a walk in the park. So for your warm market approach would be something like this, right? When you told me that you didn't like your job, were you serious or were you just kidding around? And just wait for that answer. If they said, man, I was serious, great. I think I found a way for you to get it solved. And guess what? I know this situation will help you in whatever you got going on, right? You can also say, hey, I think I found a way for us to really boost our cash flow. I found something that you really need. You can also say, hey, I'm launching a new business and I really want you to take a look at it. When I thought of the people who can make the absolute fortune with a business I found, I thought of you. Because that's what my mentor asked my friend that got me starting the business. He was like, man, who do you know that's a hustler and about making that money? He said, Shaquille. I was the first person he thought about. He, I was the first person he thought about. Literally the first person. I remember driving home and getting a call from my mentor, Platinum Regional Vice President, Mr. Adam Roop, and he was confirming me for the event. If he would have never gave me the call to remind me about the event, I would have never showed up because I already had things planned. See, this is why the system is important because if my mentor would not done the system, I would not be here today. See, I'm a product of the system. I knew the system worked because it worked for me. So if it worked for me, it can work for everybody else. So you can use a whole bunch of different ones. Like I've teamed up with a company, you know, that's expanding the area. And listen, you know, I can send you guys a list of this um, after the training so that you guys can have a copy of it. So that you guys can have it saved and you can literally just train yourself every single day to just master this script because if you master these different type of ways to talk to people and not just say hey you want to make some money you want to make some money but actually be able to expand your vocabulary to be able to talk to all kinds of people you know what if you met someone that's real business like and you say to them hey listen let me ask you a question would you be open to diversifying your income that would be more open and better to say to someone that's successful than say hey you want to make some extra money just because they listen, the word diversifying, it just sounds good. It just rolled the tongue good. It sounds better than saying, hey, you want to make some extra money? So you got to switch it up. You got to be different. You got to be versatile. From there, for cold market, you can say, hey, listen, have you ever thought of diversifying your income? Do you keep your career options open? And this is an oldie, but it's a goodie, right? So do you plan on doing what you're doing now for the rest of your career? And you can follow any of these cold market script or variation with the following. I have something that might interest you. Now is not the time to get into it, but that's it. So by the show of hands, am I making sense? Is this starting to make sense to you about how to talk to people? Because like I told you before, it's a skill. It's a skill, it's just like anything, but you have to put in time. So the reason why I just learned it off the back of my head because I've done it so much. When you start doing something so much, you don't even have to think about doing it. It just happens naturally. But first you have to become a student before you become a master, right? So there's also indirect script, right? The indirect script approach is another powerful tool to helping people get past their initial resistance and understand your opportunity. The approach is best used when they're just getting started and it's simply asking people for help or guidance. I use this approach extensively and with great success when I first started out because of my lack of credibility at the age of 22, 
I remember I got involved in the business at 20 years old. So throughout the years, I was learning, 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 right? And I couldn't get much success with the direct approach because most people just knew me from Applebee's. So that's another reason why I had to prove not just to myself, but to people that this business worked because coming involved in network marketing, when I got involved, there was no young people doing it. Like, I, I mean, there was young people doing it, but I never heard, I never even heard of ML. I never even heard of the industry. So when I got involved and I'm like, man, like, this is different. This is different. But I'm like, when you choose to do something different, it's great. But then you got to deal with everybody else around you, their opinions. And when you come from a place where your friends, your family members, you know, their opinion matters, you know, you're not the person where you think for yourself because growing up, think about it, right? We want to be like our friend, bird of the feather flock together. You don't want to be the outcast. If your friends like the party, but you might not like the party, you might party just because your friends party. So for me, I had to get out of my group of people and their thinking because they just wasn't thinking different. All they knew was nine to five, get, go to work, get paid, be broke by the weekend, do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. And no matter how hard or how much money they work, I watch them just stay on this cycle over again, over again, over again. I'm like, man, this cannot be it. So another indirect script for your war market would be, hey, I've just started a new business. I'm scared to death. Before I get going, I need to practice on someone friendly. Would you mind if I practice on you? Or you can say, listen, I'm thinking about getting started in a business that I can run from my home. Would you help me check it out and see if it's for real? Or you can say, I found the business. I'm really excited about it, but what do I know? You have so much experience. Would you look at it for me? If, if I made it easy, let me know. If, let me know what you think if I'm making the right move. Listen, we can agree. We don't care what people think, but guess what? You got to have different approaches to get them in front of the information. Once you get them in front of the information, your job is done. Their job is to see the information and make a decision if they either want to do it, become a customer, become a business partner, or they want to become a referral. That's it. I just need you to get in front of the information. My job is not to convince you to do the business, but you have to understand that one approach would not work for everybody. There's billions of people in the world. There's millions of people in the US. You can't say the same thing to everybody. So you got to switch it up and you got to use different approaches, right? For a cold market, you can say, hey, listen, I found this approach doesn't work really well because it doesn't really make sense for you to show this much respect for someone you just met. Direct and super direct works best for cold market. Cold market. Cold market is easy. All you gotta do is compliment people. There's no such thing as cold market because guess what? The moment you compliment someone, you warm them up. When people say, you know, cold market, what is cold market? You just haven't, you just haven't warmed that person up. Listen, the business is simple. When it's, I tell you all the time, it's right here. It's how you think about it, it's how you see it. If you see it's easy, it's gonna be easy. If you see the business as something that's complicated, something that's hard, guess what's going to happen? It's going to be hard. So another super indirect, super indirect script would be, and what a super indirect script and approach is, is an incredibly powerful and it plays on the number of the psychological levels. And the reason why I say that because you're basically, you're, you're tap rooting through someone. So for example, you will say, listen, right? The business I'm in is clearly isn't for you, right? But I wanted to ask, who do you know that's ambitious, money motivated, and would be excited about the idea of adding more cash flow to their lives? What real person would say no? What would they say? Me? What do you mean? Me? I'm the first person. Because if someone asks me that, I would say, it's me. I don't know nobody else. I know me. And then I'll tell you about some more people because think about it. If someone came to you about an opportunity and you believe in yourself, why would you send them to somebody else instead of saying, hey, I'm the one? Because when I was approached, when, when he said that to me, I'm like, man, I'm with it. I showed up, right? You can say, listen, who do you know that might be looking for a strong business that they can run from their home? Who do you know that has hit a wall with their business and might be looking for a way to diversify their income? Do you know any sharp people who live in the area? Great, yes, listen, 
Could I get that name and email address if you have it? I have a business expanding in that area and I want to see if they think it will be successful there. Do you know anyone involved in any serious job search? You know, I work with a company that's expanding in our area and I'm looking for some sharp people that might be interested in some additional cash flow. Do you know anyone who might fit that description? Do you understand that so far I've gave you so many different scripts, but most people, all they know is you want to make some extra money. You want to make some extra money. You want to make some extra money. And you just telling the same people that over and over and over again, you can use the same, you can use a different approach on the same people. You never know what they might bite on. It's like fishing. I've never been fishing, but I know that if you use a different bait, you might get the fish because some people, all their life, they've been having people coming to them saying, you want to make some extra money? You want to make some extra money? They, it's like a, they hear the same thing over and over and over again. So what makes you different? What makes you different? You got to be different. See, I became different so that people was attracted to the business. Because so for so many years, people just heard the same thing over and over. This is the same generic script over and over and over and over. You, you, I found a business. We about to get rich. That's great. But guess what? Everybody's not trying to get rich. So you got to understand, you got to think for the world. You got to think differently. You got to use different approaches for different people because not everyone is going to bite on the same script. Step number four, if I would you, you're not going to offer a third party tool unless they agree to do something in return. And this has been my secret weapon for a long time. So I always use it before, if I would you, and Feel, felt, found. I know you guys heard about that before. I talked about it before. You have to use these secret weapons to build your business. So from there, it will go something like this. Let me offer you some example, right? So I remember before in ACN, they used to have the DVDs and the magazines, right? So it will go something like this, right? If I gave you a DVD that laid out all of the information in a very professional way, would you watch it? Or if I give you a CD that describes the business, would you listen to it? If I give you a magazine, would you read it? If I give you a link to an online presentation that explains everything, would you click on it and watch it? We can't agree right there, right? I just went over four different ways that I've done it in real life and it worked. Because we can agree that ACN, before they had the video online, guess what they had it? On a DVD. We can agree that our mentors, right? They had the, 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 the presentation recorded on a CD. My mentor, Mr. Cody Mackey, he had it on a CD. It was called Getting Started on a CD that we used to give to people. And they, all they had to do was put it in that car and listen to it. I've done that. It worked. The DVD worked, the CD worked, and the magazines. When we went to convention, right? What did we buy? Magazines, right? Did we have people read the magazines? Did we give them away? Did it work? It worked. And now we're online. And we can agree that since business been online, business is up. Business is up. Since COVID started, I think I promoted almost six, seven or eight RDs and had little to much physical work to actually be there to do it. Why? Because the system, I keep telling y'all, stop thinking it's the people. We just got a blueprint and we stick to it. We, I'm nobody special. I'm regular just like you. I'm nobody different. I just stick to the system because I know, listen, the system work when I ain't working. The system work when I ain't working. You need something to work when you are not working. We're not meant to work 24 hours. Listen, we're 24 hours in a day and you only making money in eight. What about the other 16? What about the other 16? You think it's there for no reason? I mean, you tell me, right? So listen, if you've done the first three steps properly, the answer will be yes, right? So if you follow the first three steps, the answer will be yes. And if they ask for more information first, just respond with the listen. I understand that you want more information, but all of what, all of what you're looking at is on the DVD, the CD, or the link. You know, the fastest way for you to, uh, the fastest way for you to really understand what I'm talking about will be to review that material. So if I gave it to you, would you review it? Always say that. Listen, if I give it to you, would you review it? If I sent you the link, would you watch it? If they say no, they won't review it, then thank them for their time and move on.
Also review steps one to three to see where you could have done better. Sometimes you probably could have said something that, you know, made them don't want to check it out. Who knows? People are weird. So, you know, but listen, do not still give it to them. They tell you, no, don't say, man, I know you don't want to watch it, but I'll send it to you anyway. Don't do that. Don't do it. We're not begging people. Why would you beg people? That's like begging someone to stay with you. I'm not about to beg someone to stay with me. If you don't want to be with me, don't be with me. It's billions of people in the world. It's more women than men in the world. But that's just a mindset that you got to have. I'm telling you, you got to listen. You got to think different. You got to be different in order to win in this world because anything that you do, you're dealing with people. So this right here will work for anything. It will work for anything, right? Step number five, get a time commitment. When do you think you can watch a DVD for sure? When do you think you can listen to the CD for sure? When do you think you can read the magazine for sure? Or when do you think you can watch the link for sure? Don't suggest a time for them. Ask the question and have them give you all, have them give you the time, right? If it's not a definite, I'll try to do it sometimes and tell them, listen, I don't want to waste your time or mine. Why don't we just lock in a time that you have seen it for sure? It's posture. You're not on that time. Listen, you let me know when there's a time you'll see it for sure. What time? And just look at them. What time? And just wait. Don't answer first. Wait. The key is to get them to say yes a second time. And they saying yes to step number four is not a commitment. They have to say a yes two times or three to be lucky. I always do three. Three is a lucky number. Always get a, make sure that they say yes three times, right? Step number six, confirm. If they tell you that they'll watch the DVD by Tuesday night, your response should be, listen, so if I called you Wednesday morning, you'll have seen it for sure, right? Or if they said, listen, if they say they'll listen to the CD by Thursday morning, your response should be, so if I called you sometime on Thursday, you have listened to it, right? Or they said, listen, if they said they watched the link by July 1st, your response would be like, listen, so if I called you on July 2nd, you would have watched it, right? The key to step six is that they, they now said three times that they'll follow through and they've done it all by themselves. They've set a real appointment with you for the future. If you don't have three yeses, it's not an appointment. If you take a notes right now, if you did not get a person to say yes to you three times, don't count on them showing up. Don't count on them following through. Just don't do it. Because guess what? Like I tell you all the time, you got to play the system. You got to play the system. Because what if, right? What if you ran this system, right? And it worked for a person and they get involved and believe that what you just did really work and they go out there and they blow your business up. Because guess what? That's all people need to see that. Listen, I don't got to be special to have success in this business. I just got to have a blueprint to run with. And when people feel as though they have a blueprint to run with, you it takes the stress off of you feeling as though you are responsible for everyone's success. I'm not responsible for anyone. I'm responsible to them, but I'm not responsible for them. Meaning that I will give you the opportunity. I'll give you the tools. I'll give you everything that you need to win in the business, but I can't do it for you. I'm not your mama. I can't babysit you all day. I'm, it's a business. You got to think of it as a business, right? You got to think as a business owner, not as an employee, right? Step number seven, get a time and a number. What is the best what is the best number in time for me to call? Now they said yes four times and the chances they follow through have been increased from less than 10% to about 80%. And I tell you this all the time, you get yes over three times, four times, 80% of the time they will show up. I'm not telling you they will sign up and do anything, but I'm telling you they say yes three to four times, 80% of the times they will show up, right? Step number eight, get off the phone. Put the phone down, hang up the phone. Too many times I see people on there, they trying to have a family reunion on the phone with a person they haven't talked to in years. Get off the phone. Spend one minute with a hundred people instead of a hundred minutes with one person. Get off the phone. We'll catch up later when you sign up. Okay, we have all the time in the world to catch up when you sign up. Get off the phone. Right now you're doing business, right? And that's why I tell people all the time, when it's time to handle business, Handle business. It's a time and a place for everything. Don't sit on the phone talking about your personal life and all of that when you're doing business. It's a, it's a time and a place for that, right? 
step eight, get off the phone. Remember, you're in a hurry, right? And the best thing to say something like, great, we'll talk then, gotta run, I'm busy. Be busy. People, listen, be busy. Even if you're not busy, I'm always busy. I can be sleeping right now, I'm busy. What's going on, what you need? Because guess what, if you're not busy, people will talk to you on the phone all day because most people, they just like to talk about nothing. Think about it, right? Who ahead, who ahead knows some people that they just talk to people on the phone all day about nothing. They just sit on the phone and gossip and talk about nothing that makes sense. When it's time to do business, don't do that, right? So those eight steps, those eight steps right there will get you right. So for example, to break it down for you right here, this is called the Network Marketing Pro Invitation Worksheet. So you are, you can use it like this, right? The prospect's name, that contact information. As you see, step one, be in a hurry, right? Step two, insert the compliment, right? Step three, invite, invite based upon the approach that you've chosen, right? Step four, if I, would you? Step five, no, step five, if I, would you, right? Step six, when do you think you could for sure? Step seven, you know, you have reviewed it for sure, right? Step eight. No, I'm sorry. Step seven. Also, when is the best number and time for me to call? And then step eight, the date, time, and number. So the way to break it down would be something like this, right? This is an example of a person that you know who hates their job, and it's a direct approach, right? So it'll be something like this, right? Say the person's name is John, whatever the case may be, right? So I would say, hey, John, I don't have a lot of time to talk, but I would, but listen, but it was really important that I reached to you, right? From there, you'll say, listen, you're one of the most financially intelligent people that I know, and I've always respected that about you, right? When you told me that you really didn't like your job, were you serious or were you just kidding around? Great, listen, I think I found a way for you to create an exit strategy without jeopardizing your family, right? You know, I have a, let's say I have a link, right? That you can watch and it describes what I'm talking about, right? If I sent you the link, would you click on it? And let's say for example, right? You'll say, okay, when do you think you would click on it? And then they said, you know, Tuesday. So if I caught you Wednesday morning, you would have reviewed it, right? And then say from there, okay, cool. I'll check back with you then. What's the best number and time for me to call you? Put the date, put the time, put the number and say, great, we'll talk then. Gotta run, thanks. See, I could have talked about the CD, but who is still using CDs? So if you take this direct approach, because think about it, right? You can use this on everybody because guess what? Most people, unless you got a high paying job, you don't really like it. So you can use this right here to get people and think about it like this, right? If you have this blueprint in front of you, how hard would it be to talk to people? If all you know you gotta do is just insert a script and just run the play. Somebody different, do the same thing again. Do the same thing again. And what, listen, let me ask you a question, right? What if, right? You printed this out, right? You printed out hundreds of sheets of those, right? And you have a prospect name and you have all of the information. Don't you think it will be easy for you to track it and go back and keep in contact with people that you talked to in the past? And you will have something that you can just look at it and just run it. You don't have to think about what to say. Boom, just hit them with a script. Because now you got the blueprint. Now you got the steps. Now you know what to do. You're not just saying something and hope that it stick. Now you have a system in place, a system that works for anything. Think about it, right? You can use it for an indirect approach. Let's say, for example, right? Hey, you know, hey, I'm running out the door, but I need to talk to you real quick. Listen, you've always been so supportive of me, and I appreciate that so much, right? I just started a new business, and I'm scared to death. Before I get going, I need to practice on someone friendly. Would you mind if I practice on you? Great, listen, if I gave you a DVD that laid out all the information in a professional way, would you watch it? When do you think you can watch it for sure? Let's say Thursday. So if I caught you Friday morning, you would have reviewed it for sure, right? Fantastic. What is the best number and time for me to call? Set the, set the date, set the time, set the number. Great, we'll talk, gotta run, thanks. Let's say if you wanna talk to a highly successful person using an indirect approach. You'll be, like I said, always be in a hurry. Listen, I know, you're, I know you're busy and I have a million things going on too, right? But I'm glad that I caught you. You've been wildly successful and I've always respected the way that you've done business, right? I've recently started a new business and I'm looking for some sharp 
people. It's clearly not for you, but I want to ask, who do you know that is ambitious, money motivated, and will be excited about the idea of adding more cash flow to their lives? I understand that you want more information before you recommend people. And I have um, a link, or let's say a DVD or a link, right? That explains everything uh, with what I'm doing and the kind of people that I'm looking for. It's brief. So if I sent you it, would you view it? And let's say from there, step number five, you would say, listen, I know you're extremely busy and I'm so grateful for your help. Thanks for agreeing to look at it. Because what you're doing right there is that you're complimenting them. You're making them feel high. Listen, people want to feel good. You're making them feel good, right? Like, wow, you thought of me. They probably don't even think of themselves that good because the average person don't think highly of themselves. So they hear somebody else compliment them. That's why attention is more, what they say nowadays, people love attention more than they love money. Attention is more valuable than currency to the average person nowadays. And you see it because go on, go on social media, right? People will do anything for attention. So people would do anything to feel good. So just compliment people, right? From there, you want to say, listen, when do you think you can view it? So if I called you after that, right, you sure you reviewed it for real? Okay, cool. Listen, all right, I'll check back with you then. What's the best number and time to call you? Uh, set the date, the time, and the number. Thanks again. I appreciate it so much. I'll talk to you then. It's different approaches. So you can mix and match and add whatever approach sounds great to the person and just use it for to different people. Because when I'm reading right now, you could have mixed it up. You could have said something different with it. But guess what? Every person is different. Use what's best to describe the person that you're trying to get to see the information. What I'm showing you right now is just an example. It's just an example so that you can get a better understanding. And the last example, this is a cold market prospects who've done a fine job selling you some shoes, uh, and that's what you would say. Listen, now isn't the time to get into this and I have to go. But listen, you're really super sharp. And I happen to be looking for some sharp people. Do you plan on doing what you're doing now for the rest of your career? They say, no, good. Listen, I have something that might interest you. Now is not the time to get into it, but I have a DVD that explains it all in great details. I gave it to you. Would you watch it? When do you think you can watch it? So if I called you after that, you sure you reviewed it, right? All right, cool. I'll check back with you then. What's the best number and time for me to call you? To the, time, the date, time, number. Okay, here it is. Thanks again for the excellent service and I'll talk to you soon. Do you know how that makes that person feel good? Like, well, I just did a great service. So now they feel entitled to follow up because they just did a great job with you. So it's just how it works. Great minds think alike. So if you, if you give someone a great compliment, nine times out of 10, they will show up for you. That's just how it works, right? So, and are you feeling the flow of how this works? Obviously, there are many possible variations for different kinds of prospects. Notice what I just showed you just now was just an example. You got to be creative. You got to create your own variation for your own type of prospect. But I hope these examples have helped you understand how everything comes together. And in terms of scripts, it is best for you to get the basic concept down and don't focus too hard on the exact script. Just focus on the system of it, right? Because listen, life doesn't work that way. And if you learn to let them know that you're in a hurry, compliment them, invite the best way possible, pass the tool with if I would you, confirm it through the process I describe and get off the phone, you will be fine. You will be fine. If you just did what I told you, you would have no problem getting people in front of the information, right? And remember, in recruiting, there's no good or bad experience, just learning experience. On your journey to become a network marketing professional, the best thing that can happen is that you develop the skill to recruit on demand in any situation. Then you'll never have to worry about being lucky. Practice, 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 and boom, that's all I got for you guys today. So hopefully you guys got something out of today's training. And if you haven't, I don't know what to tell you, but I can also send this um, to Mr. Thomas and you guys can share it and create your own little script so that you can really become professional and take this business to another level. Because I honestly can tell, I was having a conversation with my mentor yesterday and I'm gonna end with this. And I was just, I'm like, man, I thank you for, for when I got involved in the business, the way that he worked me, he worked me like I was working for his real estate company. Like called me in the morning and had me on a schedule. I'm like, bro, I don't, I don't do real estate, but the way that he ran me in a system and the way how I made calls, I'm like, 
everything I just told you is what I've done since day one. So it's all I know. While most people try to recreate the wheel, I stuck to it because I've seen the success since day one. And when you see and you know that something worked, why would you try something that you know might not work? I'm not gonna try to do anything different and if it don't work, when I know what I've been doing for almost eight years, it's been working. If Listen, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. The same system. So I thank you guys again and I'll pass the call back to Mr. Thomas.